Now remember what I said now. If you had told artist Keith Westbrook 10 years ago that he would also become an art teacher in the St. Louis Public Schools, he would not have believed you. I tried to make it as a freelance artist for about six years. In the beginning, I had some success. I had a few patrons, but then that, that, that runs out. So Westbrook became a teacher to support himself. He balances being a painter in his private life and sharing his knowledge in the classroom. I really inspire the kids uh, to, to, uh, to do art a certain way. Um, I do things that I'm interested in, and uh, I like to, maybe it's my ego, you know, I feel that if I'm interested in it, you're interested in it. The subjects that interest Westbrook can be seen in his work. Some involve the many facets of the black experience in America. This painting might sum up his perspective on success in this country. Entitled Second Slavery, it depicts comedian Dave Chappelle in chains, his fists stuffed with money. It was created after Chappelle walked away from a multi-million dollar deal with the Comedy Central cable network because of artistic differences. African American celebrities, cultural icons, and the anger that stems from feeling disenfranchised inform many Westbrook works. The director, Spike Lee, the fictional 1970s anti-hero, Superfly, and jazz legend Miles Davis have all been illustrated in Westbrook paintings. This one of Davis included text from his 1962 interview with Playboy magazine. The written word is another common element in works by Westbrook. I try to experience something new uh, every day, if I can. Westbrook says he constantly feeds his creativity through reading an eclectic array of books and staying attuned to everything and everyone around him. He fills sheets of notepaper and notebooks with thoughts that may eventually be expressed on a canvas. You know, I could be talking to my mother. I mean, wait, wait, mom. You know, excuse me. You know, or then I you just be, write jot something down. And... Jot something down, or but most of the time it happens when I'm driving. Probably 80 percent of the time is when I'm driving. You know, and uh, I don't know what about being in motion. <clears throat> it, it just it just happens, especially when I'm on the highway. Westbrook, the son of two educators, was a fourth grader at the former Columbia Elementary School in St. Louis when he first began thinking of himself as an artist. It started early for me. I, I had confidence, you know. I, I, I believed that I could do it, and, 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 that's, and that's really what it's about. It's about confidence. I mean, I would later lose that confidence when I, you know, went to college and I saw all that great artwork. And uh, so I had to regain it because actually when I was in college, um, I started out at a junior college, Fort Park Community College, and there were so many good artists. I mean, a lot of these people were older than I was, and they were, they were really good. The way that I worked was real quick. Westbrook went on to get a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville and a Master's of Fine Arts at the University of Iowa. Like many artists trying to make names for themselves, Westbrook has had his share of struggles. But he also has some steadfast supporters, one of whom is headquartered in the Central West End. Left Bank Books has had three exhibits of Westbrook paintings over the past four years. In Keith's case, we just like the work. It's unusual to see really strong political art. Today, most people don't do it because it's, it's not popular. He reminds me a lot of... Uh, Jacob Lawrence. 20th century painter Jacob Lawrence came of age in New York City during the cultural movement known as the Harlem Renaissance. He was one of the first African-American artists to gain critical acclaim in the mainstream art world. The figures are somewhat similar but the message is a lot stronger and he, uh, Keith uses these words that kind of semi-describe what what the image is about. I had a chance to meet him when I was my last year at the University of Iowa. Westbrook cites Lawrence as an early influence and says he adapted some of Lawrence's techniques with regard to the use of color. 
The Left Bank Books exhibit also had an installation of St. Louis street slang terms accompanied by illustrations. Westbrook started it during his days as a substitute teacher as a way of connecting with students. So what I began doing was saying, oh look, let's see who could make uh, the, the longest list of slang terms, you know, a slang term defined in standard English. And uh, the winner, you know, get a, you know, I buy him lunch or soda or something like that. And um, uh, it just caught on. You know, uh, the kids just really, really got into it. And within a matter of a couple of days, I had several hundred words, you know, and I realized that I had some. So I began doing my own research. And uh, within about two years, I had over 1,500 terms. And then this work has spawned a book that Westbrook is self-publishing, but he's replaced the painted illustrations with photographs. Basically what I would do is I would just walk up to people and explain what I was doing and, and they would, you know, yeah, I, I participate or no, you know, and I, and, I, and I take the picture. You know, I try to get them as raw as I could, you know, I didn't want them really posing, but sometimes you can't help it. We're going to have this wrapped up uh, by tomorrow, all right? In 2001, Westbrook enrolled in a career transition program at the University of Missouri, St. Louis, and earned his teacher certification. Since 2003, he's taught full-time here at Gateway Institute of Technology. <laughs> it's good work, though. It's really good work. Most of those students, they are not on a career path for the arts. So I always try to encourage them to minor in arts. Because a lot of them, they, you know, they're going to going to the health careers or some other kind of technological field. So I always try to encourage them to at least minor in it. I mean, when I, when I see that ability, or at least take courses. Senior Marquita Cook will be an engineering major in college. She's taking Westbrook's advice and will minor in art. He's like my favorite art teacher throughout my whole school career. And then the artwork, this is, is just stuff you just never done before. The main things about uh, Mr. Westbrook is that he's a very accomplished artist and he can relate that to the young people that he works with and that's, that's I think one of the most outstanding characteristics that he has that he can share his talent with others. Right now in, in, in my life uh, teaching art is, is really a good thing for me. But Westbrook hopes someday to stop juggling careers and become a self-supporting artist once again. Next year, who knows? Thank you.